So let's try something different today. Let's take a look at the EPA.gov site. Let's see what they're saying. I mean, after all, they could be just covering their ass and telling us the truth right here. And nobody's paying attention to it. I was looking at this. It says gamma gross counts rate per minute. And here they have 10,000. But that can't be 10,000 CPM, no? So I don't want to alarm you, and at least I'm going to take off a zero, right? And then we'd have a thousand. But. Let's just ignore that number for now, even though it's ridiculously crazy. Yeah, I've seen Tampa pretty low. That's about twice as low, at least three times as low as Miami. Texas. About well, four, but you see these spikes? Could be just a hot particle going right by the guy counter right there. Some crazy shit go up here in the Midwest. Let's see what they're saying about that. Whoa, the fuck is this? To me, that's telling me you see when they go down like this all the way to zero. Could have been maybe that was turned off at that moment. See, that's right at about 10,000. I would assume that's not good. Louisville. I think around here with Billings. Yeah, you see, this one's above 10,000 as well. And if you even look on the NETC, it's high there too. They've been battling a lot of wildfires in Idaho. And I think it was Bruce Willis. He uh, donated a lot to those firefighters over there because it's been out of control, really. So I would be curious to know which, th those are pretty high, I think, Idaho. Squan, Spokane, Richland, that's where Hanford is. Spokane.
pretty low, surprisingly. Seattle, Washington. And just that fluctuation should tell you enough that it's not exactly normal. Round six. Yeah, you see, I've seen in other radiation sites where San Diego is kind of high. Check out this Midwest. There we go. That's what I wanted to find out. I see this. They had some issues here. Uh, even on the other radiation sites I was checking when we had a Radcon 5 and look at these spikes consistent and up and down spikes I don't think that's good Yeah, see Bob Nichols report that this area was really high compared to usually where it usually was. Uh, yeah, you see these flatliners, and then it spiked out right around September second, and that's how it's been in a long time. Yeah, see around, they had their highest spike as well around that same day, which is like September 2nd. Hmm. Same day, you see that? Across. They also got it as well. Look at that.
bunch of flat lines between June 18th and, Ju and July. Between May and June, they were pretty much consistent, and then they just had a consistent upswing. Oof. I have heard that uh, some of this native lands that they've been doing some uranium mining and could be some of that. There's also that lake in Colorado that had a release of arsenic with uh, the gold mines. Mm -hmm. 